What's happening? Drew from M&M Maple Grove. Just wanted to go over some ways of uh, improving your sap flow. Uh, I have been running uh, lines and I ran out of line and I just was making the decision of buying more lines, running more lines, and then I started looking into vacuum. I had no idea about small scale vacuum, didn't really understand it. I uh, started reading about the Sure Flow pump and it's amazing how, uh, how simple it is. It's a really simple setup. All it is is, so my lines used to just run into my tank. Uh, excuse our, uh, our parents were still in the middle of construction. I threw this thing up uh, just to get a roof over my head this year and we'll hopefully finish it but next summer. But uh, anyway, so all it was was picking up a manifold. I picked up a, a stainless steel manifold, uh, has some, uh, some splits up here. And basically the idea is that uh, everything is everything is plumbed in to these manifolds. Uh, the, um, has, you have a pressure gauge on the end just so you can check the pressure. And then this end is hooked up. I, I've been, I use these flexible, uh, you know, they look like a sink hose, but they're, you know, they half inch on each one. Uh, runs through the pumps, and now the pump is sucking in this direction, it's running in this direction, and expels uh, the, uh, the, the sap that it's, that it's pulling. Uh, one of the keys to this whole setup I, I've learned is to have a, an, an additional line uh, that runs back to your tank. And what that provides is uh, more uh, sap, more liquid for the pump. The pump runs much better when it always has liquid run through it. It's a, um, it, it's a, um, a pump that's designed so it can run dry, uh, but it, it, it's best, you know, you don't want to, it's best it's not run dry. Uh, and the, the most important thing is it runs stronger with the fluid running through it. So you have this leading back. And the other really important thing that I've learned is uh, I'm switching everything over to DC. I just putzing around with uh, uh, solar. So I'm, I'm, I'm hoping to have a little solar, a little uh, uh, micro hydro uh, feeding everything next year. But uh, so right now I'm just using a, uh, a DC, uh, um, a 12 volt battery that I pulled out of a, a truck that uh, Tundra that died on me a couple of years back. And I, the, best truck I've ever had and I've been so happy to have it because I'm pulling the alternator, I'm pulling the batteries, I'm pulling everything I can use for these projects, so it's great. Uh, so right now everything's just slapped together with um, 12 volt, um, you know, 14 gauge wire and just hooked up directly to the battery uh, right to the pumps because the pumps are all 24 volt. Um, so I have everything set up. Uh, I'm just going to hook up the, uh, the positive and that'll start running. So, so right now everything's still frozen up. We're early. It's early in the morning. It just, uh, it was cold last night, hit about 20. It's, uh, it's only 36 right now. Uh, but the sun's still just coming up, um, about, you know, 10 in the morning. And, uh, so these lines still have to thaw out. Uh, another benefit of this is this line will probably thaw out the fastest and pick up that, um, uh, the, 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 the sap in the tank and that'll draw, um, more on the, uh, on these lines eventually. So, what this uh, setup gets about, uh, it gets over 20 inches of vacuum. Um, you know, when it starts off, starts off slow, but it gets up there within, you know, five minutes, usually 10 minutes at the max. Uh, the system, you know, hits its, uh, it, you know, it balances out. And, you know, I see, I've seen 22 inches uh, from this, which is, you know, 27 is your maximum. So it's, it's pretty good. Uh, there's a few other others online that, you know, are, are you know, that hit, will hit, um, you know, maybe 20. So it's a, it's a, it's, um, it's the simplest, it's the cheapest, uh, way for me that I realized instead of running out and buying, uh, another $70 worth of, uh, of line and then having to run, uh, all those taps and, and drops, uh, this, the pump was 70 bucks and, you know, a couple of, uh, fixtures. And it, the, the thing is, um, is the, the sap, um, improvement has been and fantastic. I, I don't, I don't really track it in that regard of how much, you know, I, I received, um, you know, extra, but, uh, you know, clearly right now I'm, I have, I'm about 180 taps roughly. Um, I'm, I'm easily hitting, you know, 50 gallons a day on a, on a, you know, on a, you know, average day, not even a great day. So on a good run, I'm getting a lot more. Again, I don't track it. I just, uh, I'm constantly running it through the uh, RO. So I, you know, it's, I, I, I'm, I'm tracking the end product. Let's put it that way. But again, simple, simple setup. Uh, best way uh, financially, I think, and, and time-wise to uh, increase your sap yield, and uh, it's, it's a really easy setup, so I, I highly recommend it.